If you were dropped from an airplane, would you be able to fly like a superhero or would you just fall to your death? Turns out it's not as simple as the movies make it look. You see, if you jumped out of an airplane without a parachute, you wouldn't just plummet to the ground. Instead, you'd fall at a relatively constant speed with the air pushing against you. This happens because of a force called gravity. But what actually is gravity? Well, it all has to do with mass. Every object in the universe has some amount of mass, and therefore it has a gravitational pull. The more mass an object has, the stronger its gravitational pull. So the Earth has a pretty strong gravitational pull, because it has a lot of mass. And because you have a little bit of mass, you also have a gravitational pull. It's just not very strong because you're kind of small. When you jump off the ground, you're overcoming the Earth's gravitational pull with your legs. But once you're falling, gravity takes over and you accelerate towards the ground at 9.8 meters per second squared. That means every second you fall, your speed increases by 9.8 meters per second. If you were to free fall for 20 seconds, you'd be traveling over 195 miles per hour. But if you were to free fall on a planet with twice the mass of the Earth, you'd fall faster. That's because the planet's gravitational pull would be twice as strong, so you'd feel heavier. In fact, if you were to drop a bowling ball and a feather at the same time on this planet, they'd both fall at the same rate. That's because the feather would be pulled towards the ground just as fast as the bowling ball. On Earth, we don't notice this because the air slows the feather down before it hits the ground. But if you were to remove the air, like if you were in a vacuum, the feather and the bowling ball would fall at the same rate regardless of their mass. So next time you're on a planet with a strong gravitational pull, remember no matter how small or light you are, you can still fall like a bowling ball.